What's up, my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video. Today is Tuesday, August 17th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. In today's video, my friends, I will be going over the weekly vendor resets for DC, New York, and the Dark Zone. I'll also be going over a few friendly weekly reminders. Now, if you'd like to skip ahead to the vendors themselves, feel free to go to the 3 minute and 45 second point in the video right now. Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here, and our current one is for an Xbox Series S, and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. The winner will be announced on October 2nd of this year, and just to clarify, my friends, you do not need to join as a member in order to enter the contest. We do have monthly prizes for membership. However, anyone who subscribes or follows on Twitter is automatically entered into the Xbox giveaway. So having said that... Let's get into today's video. So as most of you probably know by now, the Belfry League started today. Now this is the last league that we're going to have in the current seasonal replay. It goes on for two weeks, and for those of you that may not know, your progress does transfer from week one to week two. Now the good thing about the league is you do not need to activate it in any way. It's going on automatically, and you can see here, these are the different challenges you need to complete in order to gain world tiers, or excuse me, not world tiers, reward tiers, and as you gain those, you'll be gaining some caches as well. Today also happens to be the day that the weekly projects reset, and it is a great way to earn some exotic caches in the game. You have the weekly summit project, where all you need to do is complete 30 floors on the summit on any difficulty. You then have the weekly shade requisition, where you just donate a bunch of stuff, and then for those of you that have the ability, you also have the weekly legendary mission, which can earn you an exotic cache as well. Now moving on to this week's invaded missions, they are Grand Washington Hotel, American History Museum, and Viewpoint Museum. Now clearing those will gain you access to District Union Arena, and once you've cleared that, you'll then have access to Tidal Basin. Last but not least, my friends, I'd like to show you the location of the snitch. And for those of you that may not know, finding the snitch every Tuesday is how you're going to gain access to the gunrunner Cassie Mendoza, who becomes available every Wednesday. As I'm sure most of you know by now, the snitch can pop up in different locations around the map. This happens to be my favorite place. We are right by the 1040 safe house. Now, if you get here and he's not here, I suggest resetting your control points, trying again, and he should show up within one or two attempts. With all that being said, let's now get to the vendors themselves. Now, if you've seen my previous reset videos, you guys know that I kind of ripped through these. I strongly recommend, however, taking your time. You don't want to miss out on anything you could be looking for. As always, we are starting off with the main vendor at the White House. We begin with a really nice backpack. Awesome for a skill build. You will re-roll that top attribute to something else. But again, definite must buy if you're looking for something like that. Underneath that, we have an SMG. Then we have an AR. Let's see what the handgun is like. Those two are okay. Handgun met. Probably pass on that. Oh, really nice backpack. Taking a look at this, I wish that the weapon handling was different, but you have armor regen. You can re-roll that core attribute any way you want. It has adrenaline rush. For those of you putting together a shotgun build, this is a definite must-buy. Let's see what the uh, body armor is like below it. Probably pass on this. Then we have some mods and skill attachments. Now our way on our way to the clan vendor. And as we roll up, let's see what we have, my friends. We begin with the... Swap chain, really nice SMG. The roll's not that bad either. Looking at this, I would probably change out the optimal range, I guess, and then, you know, optimize the critical hit chance. The gun is a lot of fun to use, so if you do not have it, I definitely recommend picking it up. Below that, we have a True Patriot holster. Pretty decent roll there as well, which is nice. Pretty nice Negotiator's Dilemma mask as well. Pick one up if you don't have it. Pretty good aces and eights. We got some steady stuff this week. I like it. Let's move on to the next LMG. Pretty decent roll there. You could pick it up if you need one. Really nice marksman rifle here. I've actually been trying a few builds with this rifle. It's a lot of fun to, marksman rifle, but it's a lot of fun to use. Moving on to another backpack. Pretty good there. There we go. Right here, my friends. Grab these gloves. Man, that's as close to as God rolled as you can get. You're going to re-roll that middle attribute again. This is another definite must buy. 
And I mean, wow, we're getting a lot of good stuff this week. Uh, we have a pretty decent SMG there, another nice backpack. But again, you're going to want to get that top one you saw before. Here's another nice body armor, uh, piece of body armor right there. Mods and skill attachments. Now let's make our way to the campus. And as we roll up, let's see what we have today, my friends. We are starting off with the Forge named Holster. It is a definite must-buy without a doubt. I know Cassie had one of these for sale as well this week, but this is something you definitely want to pick up. It is an absolute fantastic piece of gear. Below that, we have a Marksman Rifle. Pretty okay roll on that. Again, it's your choice. And we have an LMG. Pretty decent. You can re-roll that core attribute if you want. It is a, it's a pretty good weapon. Mask here is okay. Same thing with the holster. Then mods and skill attachments. Now let's make our way to the theater. Let's see what we have here, my friends. It's been a really good week so far. So we have the Tsunami Shotgun. The thing is a monster. I'm actually putting together a build around it. This one is not that great of a roll, but again, if it's something you're looking for and you don't have it, I definitely recommend picking it up. Below the Tsunami, we add another shotgun. We have a rifle here, some gloves, pretty mediocre. Let's see what the knee pads are like. Again, not that great. Then some more mods and skill attachments. Let's see if there's anything good there. Not too much. Now let's make our way to the first Dark Zone, Dark Zone West. And as we roll up to the first Dark Zone vendor, most of you know I hit the vendors up on a weekly basis to see if there's anything exclusive to the Dark Zone that happens to be for sale. Now keep in mind, even if there is something for sale, you still need to go into the DZ, get some resources, and then extract with the actual resources that you just picked up. Now we've had conversations at this channel time and time again. I am under the opinion that if you are going to get these items from the dark zone, I think the roll should be much higher. And again, this is coming from someone who doesn't even play in the DZ, but I really think the roll should be better at the vendors. Now making our way to Dark Zone South, didn't see anything really in DZ West that was worth pointing out. And, and again, that kind of goes back to what I was saying is that there should be at least one God rolled item in each Dark Zone vendor, uh, in my opinion, on a weekly basis. It definitely gives you the incentive to go and, you know, do some farming, whereas most people don't really feel like doing that now. And do me a favor, my friends, let me know in the comments section down below, how do you feel about the Dark Zone vendors? Obviously, I, I have a feeling most of you would love to see that there is a Dark Zone exclusive, like a really good rolled DZ exclusive item on a weekly basis. For you, would that make you, you know, inclined to go into the DZ and actually try it out? Anyway, getting back to the vendors, we have the Commando uh, Marksman Rifle. Pretty okay roll there. We had another Marksman Rifle under that. Now we have an LMG. Let's check out this Foundry Mask. Again, pretty mediocre, but you can get that anywhere. True Patriot Holster, same kind of thing. 511 Mask, meh, meh, meh. Holster, mods and skill attachments. Now let's make our way to the New York. To the New York. To New York and the last two vendors. And as this video starts to wrap up, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your amazing support of this channel. We all know that the game is pretty slow right now, but the fact is you guys are here watching this content, you're a part of this family, and it really means the world to me. Most of you know by now that one of my main goals at the channel is to build that toxic-free gaming environment where people work together, help each other out. That's exactly what we're creating here. You are a pivotal part of that, obviously. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, please let me know in the comment section down below. At this point, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. Obviously, you'll see the final vendor as well. But as always, my friends, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. Good morning, puppy. However, as always, most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Go work away.